new study has just came out looking at leg presses with maximal degrees of knee flexion and more of a deep stretch to leg pressing with about 100 degrees of knee flexion on extremely well-trained lifters. What was found in the results is that when looking at growth within the quadriceps, it was statistically similar. These findings also align quite well with the Kubo study on half squats and full barbell back squats done in untrained lifters that found that there wasn't much difference in quad gains between the two squats. Now, there are obviously some limitations with this study, like it's within participant design. While a within participant design may seem like a strength as it controls for hyper responders to training, evidence seems to suggest that motor unit recruitment will be affected depending on whether or not you're using your dominant or non-dominant side, which will normally result in slightly more favorable growth, along with a few other limitations mentioned by the study itself. Regardless, this seems to be another good piece of evidence showing us that more knee flexion doesn't mean more growth for the quads. I also believe that while this may be quite an ambitious conclusion, this provides evidence to prove that leg extensions are probably not a, a shortened short partial as the range of knee flexion possible on most leg extensions with or without some creativity seems to be more than sufficient for good quad growth. Although, this is not a one-to-one -one comparison as we're looking at isolated knee extension versus knee extension with hip extension, so I may be very wrong about this. Until we have high quality data looking at something like sissy squats and leg extensions, this is just a personal theory. Now, does this mean that we shouldn't go deep on squat pattern movements? No, in fact, I would say it's still probably better to go deep on squatting patterns as they help grow the glutes and adductors significantly more than shallow knee flexion movements without sacrificing quad gains. The main takeaways from the study for you should just be that more knee flexion doesn't equal more quad gains, at least in the context of squat patterns, as well as the stretch doesn't provide additional growth in trained lifters, probably due to plateaus and sarcomeriogenesis, which is about everything you need to know about how 